Okay, so today I have the pleasure um, through Triumphant Magazine to have Daniel Fuqua with us today. So at this time, I would love to have um, Daniel tell us a little bit about himself, if he doesn't mind, please. Yes, hello. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you for having me. My name is Daniel Fuqua. Um, I go by Saxman. That's my stage name. Um, I'm a saxophonist. I've been playing the saxophone for about 20 years now. I just celebrated uh, my 20th year this past uh, February. Um, I love what I do. I'm also the worship leader at my church. Uh, my church is Fire to the Nations Global Ministries in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, I'm under the leadership of uh, Bishop Kim R. Holt and Pastor Benjamin Holt. We've been around about two and a half, going on three years, and uh, we love what we're doing. We're actually planning a missions trip um, coming up this June. We'll be going to Africa. We're sending support and help there. Awesome. Uh, we're starting a food program, also bringing our ministry there in Africa. So I'm just glad with the Lord is what He's doing in our in our lives, and um, I'm excited. I recently released my first album uh, back February 13th, and that is called The Sound of Love. And um, that's one of the projects I've been working on, and the Lord, the Lord allowed me to release that album recently. Okay, which is a blessing. And you said it's called Sounds of Love. So could you, um, if you don't mind, expound yeah. on it and let us know how you came up with that name, if you, does, if you don't mind? The Sound of Love. Sure, yes. Yeah, back, yeah, back in 2009, the Lord uh, gave me a prophetic word to release the sound, release the sound of heaven. And um, I've been doing research and studying, and um, he told me that in each of us, we carry a sound, and that is our responsibility to, to release that. You know, the scripture says, let your kingdom come, let your will be done right here on heaven, right here on earth, just as it is in heaven. And so our responsibility okay. is to release the sound that's within us. Uh, so I took that, and um, I did an album uh, called The Sound of Love. And that's where I got the title from, The Sound of Love is what we're going to be releasing uh, to let each other know that, you know, it's about the love of Christ in each of us. I love it. I love it. Perfect, perfect name, by the way, pa perfect name. And then I just also want to say congratulations because I know you said um, you didn't only celebrate your birthday, but you celebrated 20 years um, as this, not only yes. a saxophonist, but an incredible um, distinguished saxophonist is that. So um, we do want to say congratulations to uh, to you. And then um, the question, next question that I have for you, if you don't okay. mind, is um, could you tell us how you started the journey? Like, and when did you discover that you were going to be a saxophonist? Yeah, it really, I just stumbled across it. I was in church one day. I was 11 years old in church and I saw a young lady at the church. She was playing the sax. Had no clue what it was, but I know I like what, how it sounded. I like the, the look of it. I was very intrigued by it and I wanted one of them for my birthday. My birthday was coming up and uh, my parents was not for it at all. You know, I did Boy Scouts, I did football, I did soccer, and I never followed through with it. And that was like, you know, your last resort. If you're going to do this, you got to do it. That's so it. they went ahead and invested money. And then my next birthday, my 11th birthday, they got me that saxophone. It was an alto saxophone and I loved it. I was playing it all night long and I was horrible. They kicked me out of my room. They put me, they put me in the garage and I was playing in the garage and I was just so frustrated because I, I just wasn't sounding like I wanted to sound. Right. And my mom, she saw my passion. She saw, you know, yeah. you really want to do this and say, yes, I really want to do it. And um, she prayed for me. What a and when she prayed for me, she touched my ears and she said, wow. you will hear the sound of heaven. Uh, she touched my eyes. She said, you will see the notes. Uh, mm -hmm. She touched my hand. She said, you'll play the notes. She touched my mouth. She said, you'll breathe mm -hmm. the breath of God in the horn. And then she touched my heart. She said, each time you play, make sure you play from your heart. Mm -hmm. And um, the next wow. day, super naturally, I began to play the sax. And I thank God for it each and every day. Wow. And he's really super naturally playing through me. Wow, what a blessing. That's a powerful testimony in itself. Like you said, um, the power in prayer and, and the power of having a mother, you know, pray over you. And um, just the fact that, um, like I, I mentioned the other day, that like what my pastor, he said, is, is by your belief also. So you had to believe what mom was also yeah. praying on you. So I'm, I'm so grateful right. um, that you've been doing it, like you said, for 20 years. So um, I think yes. you also mentioned that you had another album that was going to also come out, um, I believe in September, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Okay. Right. Originally in 2019, I did a live recording and that was called The Sound of Worship. 
and um, some things happened with that recording and uh, it just wasn't the right time. I wanted to release it in 2020, but the pandemic happened and other things happened. I just wasn't able to release it. Yeah. Uh, so I was able to step back and kind of refine and reset and go back to the drawing board and redo it again. Uh, so this year, the Lord's willing 2021, I'll be able to release the sound of worship uh, coming up in September. Right, which is outstanding. And I believe you told me you had a heart for children, if I'm not mistaken. So if you can tell us about um, the children and your passion with the children. Yes, yes. My goal is, um, if not by the end of this year, definitely um, next year, uh, to start a nonprofit uh, for the youth in, um, when it comes to the arts. Uh, because I feel it's a dying, it's a dying art that's happening in the school system in our community. Yeah. You don't see a lot of programs out there that can help kind of guide and train the youth and what they need to do in their gifts. Absolutely. And I believe uh, the Lord placed in my heart to do a nonprofit to help bring the arts back because it's a dying program. It's it a is. dying um, thing that's happening in our community. Um, a lot of school systems, they're not even letting them, them do the band. They're not letting them do theater, yeah. acting, drama is not happening anymore. So yeah. I, I want to start a nonprofit where it'll help bring that back to the community so they can know that you can, you know, That's make it, it in a career when it comes to music or theater or acting. Absolutely. So, yes. And that's that's awesome because um, it's wonderful to see men, you know, men um, get out there and empower other young men because um, that's a missing component, you know, right now. So I'm grateful, like you said, for what you're wanting to do with your nonprofit organization. And um, could yes. you tell us, because I, I know you have you have to have some favorite, other favorite saxophone players out there. So who are some of the ones that you really enjoy and you appreciate their music? I do. I absolutely love Gerald Albright. That's one of my uh, go-to saxophonists. That's that's what I listen to often is his music, Gerald Albright. I listen to some Kenny G, uh, yeah. David Sanborn, right. um, Bonnie James, uh, just to name a few. But yeah, uh, Gerald Albright is just one of my inspirations where I go to kind of glean from and get my knowledge for the sax from. Okay, that's awesome. Now, um, I believe you said you also work in New Smyrna. So tell us about some of the places that you work at over there. Yeah, I do have some events that I do on um, Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm at a restaurant called Limoncello's. Uh, that's an Italian restaurant I play okay. at every Monday and Wednesday from six to nine. Okay. And then every Friday and Saturday, there's a restaurant called the Courtyard Grill. Um, it's a fine dining restaurant. I play there every Friday and Saturday from seven to nine. And I do all type of music from jazz, R&B, gospel. Um, I even do country. I do some oh, country songs. Country so. too. <laughs> I try not to stay. Yes, yeah. I try not to stay in one genre. I like to do it all because um, right. there's a lot of people that you can reach. And I was just talking to someone the other day as, yes. you know, the church is not confined to just the four walls. No. You can go out. The That's Great good. Commission. The Great Commission says, go ye therefore, teach all nations. That's and how can you go if you're just stuck in the building? So no, we, God has allowed me to go to different events to absolutely. spread the love of Christ. Absolutely. And that's what I do at my event. You know, this doesn't belong to me. It belongs to no. God. It, hey, I love it. Everything belongs to him. <laughs> what a blessing. Yeah. And then um, could you tell us, have you been doing it like any um, virtuals, some of the virtuals you've been doing with everything um, being the way it was in 2020 and even this year? Right. Yes. So oddly enough, uh, my wife and I, we, we purchased our first home in 2020 oh, and that's it that's was around happened. March. Thank you. Yeah, when the pandemic first happened, wow. uh, we closed on our house, and wow. we live in Palm Coast now. Oh, uh, we closed on our house, and uh, then the pandemic happened, so we had to stay in. And um, one of the main sources of my income was the music. So That's I was trying it. to figure out how, you know, what am I going to do? Because my day job, I do sell medical insurance by day. Okay. Uh, so that was kind of whittling down a little bit, but I still love doing the music. Um, so I got the idea of why not do like a virtual concert. So I would do Facebook live. I did um, I um, some Zoom calls where I invited people to come in on the Zoom and do virtual That's tickets. Awesome. And that was able to help still spread the music out. So the pandemic did hit hard, but in, in, a, in another light, it was still beneficial because I got to touch people that wasn't even in the in this area, you know, Absolutely. they can see me virtually. So it did broaden my, Absolutely. it broadened my territory, it did. Right. 
and God enlarge your territory, like you were saying, because um, I know um, I saw you on one of the ones with uh, Miss Donna Banks, um, the Fresh Book yes. Festival, which was phenomenal. Right. Yes. Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Because you had some awesome songs that you played there. Yeah, she contacted me. I usually do that event every year at Midtown and Daytona Beach, but of course, because of the yeah. pandemic, we couldn't gather together. Uh, so she asked if I could do it virtually and I did it and it worked out pretty well. Perfect. So I did, you know, some, some Gerald Albright songs. I did um, some, uh, what is his name? His name is slipping my mind right now. Um, did Let's Stay Together. Oh, I did um, all types of songs. So um, I just love, love what, what transpired and I was able to still touch lives with my music which is a blessing. And we thank you for doing that. So if somebody's interested in booking you, can you tell us how they'll be able to get in touch with you, please? Sure, yes, yes. They can go to my website. It's www.saxmanfuquay.com. S-A-X-M-A-N. Fuquay is F-U-Q-U-A.com. Um, my social media handle is under at um, saxmanfuquay. So that's Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, Facebook is under Saxman Fuqua. You can find me there. Okay. You can contact me. And um, I do all type of events. I tell people I do weddings, I do birthdays, bar mitzvahs. That's I've cool. done uh, baby showers. I've done divorce parties. It's crazy. Divorce but, you know, parties. I've done, I've done two divorce parties and I play love songs yeah. there. And I still <laughs> minister to people at a divorce party. So <laughs> whatever event it was, um, I'm able to do it. <laughs> wow. That's a new one on me. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and I think you were telling me also, like um, yesterday, you were telling me how um, music moved you when you spoke to a couple, I think that was, um, I believe it was married for like 50 years. You were telling me about experience. So yes. You was, want to tell us about that, please? I was just, yeah, you know, learning in my way of, of how to do gigs. And I did a jazz festival one year in Daytona. And um I was questioning myself if I really wanted to do this. And this older gentleman, he came up to me, he had tears in his eyes. And he said, you know what? Uh, we've been married fi over 50 years. Wow. And you sparked a fire in our marriage. Wow. He just, you know, was thanking me for what I did. And that really yeah. touched me. And I knew then at that moment that this is my purpose. You That's know, it. this I'm driven to do this. It's, it kind of it sparked a fire in me when he told me that. So um, I coined my motto um after that after that encounter my model now is touching lives one note at a time all right and i tell everybody at my end. Lives. one note <laughs> yes. at a time i love one note it. At a time. i love i tell it. everybody at my at a concert that i do if i'm not touching at least one life i'm not doing my job so my I job is it. to make sure I'm, a, I'm able to touch you through my music and that's what i try to capture that is a blessing. I love it. Now, do you have, like, who motivates you when, because um, you motivate people with your music. So who motivates you? To be honest, my wife. My wife. Okay. She's my number one motivator. She's the one, she's always praying for me. She's always pushing me. When I, I get into these little funks, I like to call it every now and then, where I hear other musicians, I'm like, oh, I don't sound like that. Or uh, I hear some of my music and it's, it's just not working how I want to do it. She's like, no, you're better than this. You, you got to get yourself out of this little rut that you're in. Uh, so she's my number one supporter and she motivates me. She keeps me going. Um, yeah. So I love, I love that God placed her in my in my life as a help me because she really helped meet my needs That's uh, daily. So I thank God for her. What a blessing! Yeah, and and it. even um we with our ministry, yes, with our ministry, um every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we do a five a.m. prayer. So we get together early in the morning, 5 a.m., and we pray. We go on Facebook Live, and we pray. Oh, and we so nice. take um, prayer requests, and we make sure we, we spread the love of God through Facebook oh, as well. You're about to put me in tears. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> so every every single morning, so like Monday through Sunday or like Monday through Friday? and No, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Okay, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. How Awesome as a couple. Right. What a blessing. And y'all yeah, been married for, I'm pretty sure, quite some time, right? The two of you. Not really. Uh, this June will be three years. Congratulations. Yeah, three years married. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, so as far as the um sounds, the sounds of love, um, if somebody was interested yeah. in purchasing it, how would they be able to obtain it? What would they need to do? Yeah. 
It's on all digital markets. So if you go to Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, um, Google Play, it's on all of those markets. You can just type in my name, Daniel Saxman Fuquay, or, or you can type in The Sound of Love and you'll see those songs that I covered. Um, it's a great album. I, I was just listening to it last night and I was like, man, it's weird listening to your own music, but I was just, you know, winding That's down from the, the, having a long day. I was able to listen to it and it just, you know, it's one of those songs and, and albums you can listen to when you're just cooking or you're just cleaning or you just want to relax a little bit. It's one of those albums where you can just wind down. Absolutely. I should have had you bring like um have that or have a little piece of your saxophone during this time. We should have, um, but make, you know, we're going to come back because I told you it's not going to be our last time. We're going to be able to come back, but definitely that way people could know what they're going to be able to hear and because we got a lot, a lot of great things to look forward to. Like you said, the sounds of love, the sounds of worship, which is getting ready to come out in September. So um, we just like totally excited about what you're doing. Um, do you have like any yes. favorite scriptures or any favorite quotes? Um, Psalms 24 is my, my go-to scripture of the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And um, I think it's around verse four, verse five, when it talks, who can ascend into the hill of the Lord? Those with clean hands and pure hearts. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I try to make sure whenever I bring up my sax to minister or, or even when I sing, I try to make sure I have with clean hands and pure hearts because whatever you do, you're going to spear that over God's people. So I don't want to make sure I'm in wrong standing. I want to make sure I'm in right standing. Absolutely. I always make sure I have the clean hands and pure hearts before I minister to God's people. What a blessing. Now, um, I, th I think you would tell me some things that people may not know about you. Now, we know you're a saxophonist. But what are what are some other things they may not know about you? I sing a little. I, I do sing a little bit. <laughs> wow. I um I've sung, sung a lot in, in the choirs and um and like the praise and worship, but actually going outside the church and singing, I never would have done it wow. um, until I did it about three years ago. And someone said, You just gotta keep doing this. So That's um good. oddly enough, I do play the sax and sing at the same time. So wow. I try to do both of those. That is awesome. Incorporate it together. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Does your, your wife or your children play like any instruments or or sing? No kids right now. I don't have any kids, but my wife, she dances. She does um, liturgical dance, praise right. dance. Uh, she's very anointed with that. Yeah, yes. that's a blessing. What a blessing. And, and actually, we minister together every now and then. I think Sunday, we're going to be ministering together um, where I play the sax and she danced to it. So we do get, that every now and then. So. You got to get somebody to videotape that. That's going to be that's going to be awesome. <laughs> we're going to do we're going to do a Facebook Live. You can catch them oh, on Facebook, okay. Facebook Live. Okay. And yeah. tell us where we can find it at on the Facebook Live. Just if yeah. you don't mind saying that. Our, for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a problem. It's our ministry. It's called Fire to the nation's global ministries. Okay. You can go to that Facebook page and it will show all of our services. And um, this Sunday coming, we're actually gonna to minister together. I believe we're gonna to do total praise. And that'll be one of the right. songs that we'll Oh, that's we'll Richard Smallwood, together. right? All right, Richard Smallwood. We just, right. had, we just had him on recently. Yes, yeah. March. Well, this is still yes. March. We had him this month right here. Oh yeah, total praise. I'm definitely gonna be in on that. <laughs> So yes. um, definitely anything else um, that you would like to have the triumphant readers and the triumphant audience know about you, um, just, just in case, I just want to make sure we're not missing anything today. Yeah, no, I'm just a lover of people. I just uh, thank God for you. You allow me to have this opportunity yes, to absolutely. at least let your your audience know who I am and just absolutely. let them know that there is a sound in them and yes. that whatever they do, yeah to make sure they do it to God's glory. Let him get the glory from it. Yes. And knowing that he needs us because when God left, when Jesus left, yes. he left us a precious gift, mm -hmm. it's the Holy Spirit. That's and it. we have to give voice to the Holy Spirit. So release that sound mm -hmm. so you can give voice to the Holy Spirit. Wow, what a great way to close it out. What a great way to close <laughs> it out. Wow, that's it, I'm trying to tell you. So I appreciate you so much, um, Daniel. Um, this will definitely not be our last time getting together. I look forward to nothing but great things. Like you said, you have your release coming out in September. They can go ahead and purchase The Sound of Love right away. And um, we just thank you so much for your time. Thank you for um, being here thank today. You. And God bless you yeah. and continue to bless your ministry and the work of your hands. So until next time, be blessed. Continue to be blessed. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.